Hello everyone, welcome to Figma Tips and Tricks tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about how to use Figma variable collection and more to create a stack bar chart. So here I have an example of top selling product and in general the chart is having the list in x-axis, y-axis and the bars which is showing the number of products sold in the month of December, January and so on. So how to create and how to use the Figma variable collection and modes. So we'll see in this example. So here an example where I will show the interaction, how we can mouse over it and it will show the related information in a tool tip like uh, this symbol, which is having the product as a furniture which sold as a 250. In the same way for groceries, electronics and the appliances. So how it is easy to use the Figma variable to create this kind of bar chart or you can say the stack bar chart. So let's start with this, how we can create or how we can use the Figma variable to show this kind of bar chart. Now uh, here you can see these all bars this is having their height and values how it is getting implemented through the Figma variable. Now we'll see this local variable where we have the values as appliances, electronics, groceries, furniture. So it is taking the value of like a height and it is simplified or categorized by the months like uh, which you can say the mode where we have the December, January, Feb and March and you can create more modes means more months you can add it here. So come to the components which is created here. So component uh, is the bar and uh, while I create a single component in single month values it will be uh, applicable for others so we can change the mode and we can use it. So we start with this. So here we have this component and the values are passed through this height, how it is, uh, we select this. So here you can see this is the furniture which is selected here and here the value, the height is passed as a Figma variable. So you can see the furniture bar value where I have over here on the height and the same way for grocery the value is passed as a grocery bar value and the same way for electronics and the appliances so this value is given in a local variable and this is passed on the height of this each bar So this is the easiest method to pass the variable on the height and uh, we can create the different mode and we can give the interaction. So now the next part is the interaction, how we can give this. So you can come to the prototype and you can see this interaction is given here while you click on this here. So here is the hover interaction where it is showing if uh, furniture tooltip December equal to false so set this tooltip as a true and the hover bar as a true so hover bar is this which is hidden here while we hover on this you can see this the shadow so that effect will uh, given as interaction here on the mouse hover like a set bar hover true and the furniture tooltip as a true. So furniture tooltip is given here like a, the any product is having the tooltip and while I hover on this so it is appearing here and as well as the shadow of this bar which will appear. So this interaction is given and it is very easy to give the interaction as the Figma variable. Next we are going to see the tooltip. 
so tooltip is having the properties where you can see the month as a text property the same way product where you can write the appliances and all and the values you can enter the number of values and this is the indicator so indicator you can change like uh, once you select this you will get the drop down where you can select the different product indicator so for the this understanding here i have given the lesson where it is saying this color shows the appliances electronics groceries and the furniture and so on so you can create the number of indicators and uh, number of products you can add it here and uh, the properties also you can add the multiple properties um, as it is required in your prototype so once i have created with this means i pass through the value over the height so this is the major thing here and the second major thing is the prototyping so interaction you can give on the single uh, bar like here i have uh, simplified with the furniture and all this product so you can say like a product one product two three and four so on and give the interaction as a hover where you can say this is if it is false you can say okay make it as a true and some more elements you can add and make it as a true whereas while you are mouse leaving you can say this is as a false and uh, whatever you make true in a hover you can make it here as a false so easy interaction now come to the here in bar chart so suppose this is given here and i am showing the example how we can customize and create it so just i copied it and i'm going to delete this all and just i keep this instance to copy and show the interaction how it work so this is the one of the instance which is created in a component so easily you can go to asset and you can take the component so here it will be a component and you can drag and drop this component for the bar and this component for the tooltip so once i drag and drop this instance i will just copy this instance for the another month which is given here like a jan and uh, so on for the feb and the march So I have just copied that instance and I placed it here. Now the mode which is given here in a local variable. So months, different months are having the different mode and you can create more months or more uh, modes here and how it will get impact. So now I select this and here you will get this mode. So apply variable mode and here you can select first one is the december or automatically it is the december so first one is always uh, auto assign and you can select the second month which is jan automatically it will take the values and the third one first you have to select this and go to the mode and change it to the different month so it is fib and here i am going to change the mode as the last one march now the tooltip the tooltip if i go to the local variable so this we need to place it accordingly so once i on this or make it true you can see here this all tooltip is placed and the tooltip also we can assign the mode so no need to give the values again and again if you want to give the values it is easy to give enter the values from here like a month december and product and the values so same thing you can copy it and uh, move it towards the this bar and you can assign this value so 
if these values are given in a local variable it will take automatically and here i have used the component property so uh, yeah you can assign the values so it will easy to rectify or like uh, whatever values are coming from the local variable it will take otherwise you can enter from the here so like uh, this is the tool tip for the december and now i'm going to make it true for the jan so jan tool tip is here so easily you can enter the values from here for the different tool tip and indicators also you can change it if you want to just copy one tool tip and change the indicator you can easily come here and these properties are defined here so you can easily change the indicators also so whatever changes or customization you want to do you can come to the component and it is very easy to change the colors text and the properties so one place if you change this all uh, like a typography color and uh, like a text anything it will impact directly to the your bar chart so the next is the values values also you can change it from here and it will impact directly to the here like this is the Jan and I'm going to false this all tooltip and we'll see how it will work or how we can customize and what all things are getting impacted while we are changing the values so here Jan so we focus on the Jan and uh, this is the appliances so in appliances if we change the values like 100 it is given we'll see the 90 so you can see this is getting decrease and the value is accurate means like uh, 100 is here so 90 will come little down so 90 and if I give the 70 so it is it will get decrease and it will be accurate now the next is uh, this appliances tooltip because we have changed the height of this or the value of the appliances will make it true and instead of 70 we have to say okay instead of 100 we have to say the 70 so just you select this and here you will get the value so instead of 100 you can say 70 now it is easy so same way uh, if you take the example of here this is for feb we'll go to the local variable and this is feb and here we have the given 140 so suppose if i am giving 170 now i will make it true the tool tip and instead of 140 i have to give the value as a 170 so select this and you can give 170 very easy now the interaction once we have done with this we can make it false or whatever value you want to make it as a default so you can make it uh, some of the value default as a tooltip and you can present it so let's preview this so in this preview you can see whatever changes we made it is here and uh, this is having the good interaction while i hover it so it is having little shadow effect where it is showing the bars the full bar which is having the value of the 450 so this changes and this changes this is all very easy to use the figma variable collection and mode and create the dynamic stack bar chart in a easiest method so how is the trick and how it is looks like please write on the comment and if need any improvement please write that also in the comment and this file is uploaded in a figma community you can easily use it and you can take it from the figma community 
थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच